what would you do if you were told you have hours to evacuate? All right, that is what is happening to people in the United States of America right now. All right, right now. People in the U.S. are being told they are giving a yellow warning, a yellow alert and saying you need to be prepared to evacuate within a few hours notice. All right, this is very serious and this could happen to anyone, anytime. This is in the U.S. This is happening. People are being told this, all right? What would you do? Would you be prepared if you were told to evacuate within three hours? What would you do? What would you grab? What precious items would you get to bring with you? Do you already have all your stuff together? Do you have some things together? Or do you have nothing together? Do you need to get, is this a wake up call for you to get a, essentially a bug out bag, you know, prepared bag, go bag, whatever you want to call it, to get a bag ready in case an emergency ever happened, all right? So this is something that I took really serious a few years ago uh, when all this stuff was going on because we were we were just worried that they were going to do some crazy, crazy lockdowns, very extreme lockdowns. I know they're extreme, but we were thinking it was going to be even worse, all right? So we were ready to bug out. We were like, we need to have some kind of bug out gear just in case something happens, all right? So what would you do if you got this alert? So they are getting a yellow advisory alert and they are, they could potentially get a quote orange watch alert at any moment and that means to leave right now, all right? So they're on yellow advisory means this could happen, you need to be prepared and orange means go. All right, so let's talk about this guys. So the big island in Hawaii, all right, with the biggest volcano in the entire world, all right, the biggest volcano on earth is potentially about to erupt, all right. We talked about this maybe a week or two ago, but it's getting more serious now. They have issued a yellow advisory alert, all right. Multiple earthquakes are going on underneath the volcano constantly, consistently, and it has not slowed down. The volcano is called, I believe it's called the Mauna Lao, all right, the biggest volcano on earth. And residents are being told that they, they have to be prepared to leave, and they are saying 20,000 people could have to evacuate in a moment's notice. And they are saying, this is what residents are saying, all right? They're saying, quote, there's no way even 10,000 people are going to get out of here safely if she erupts, all right? Because think about the highways just being instantly jammed. Everyone gets an alert notice and everyone packs their bags and goes and jams the highways. If you've seen the highways in Florida during certain hurricanes, not every hurricane, but some hurricanes, it is just stacked, all right? People are trying to just go north or go east or west, go to wherever they think the hurricane is not going to be. And sometimes the highways are just stacked and they're going very slow. And it's it's dangerous, all right? So what would you do, all right? What would you do if you got a, quote, orange watch, which means start moving, means move now, on your phone, you got an alert said, you need to evacuate this area. This could happen. We are on the edge of so many different things, nuclear war, all right? We are being threatened with this constantly, all right? And the rhetoric is not slowing down, it's escalating. What if we got some, people are being told to evacuate in these regions, all right? What if we got an evacuation order for your region? All right, this is in the United States. Hawaii is part of the United States. What if something happens? What if something militarily happens in Hawaii? All right, this could be a huge thing that could pull the United States into a bigger conflict as well. But would you be prepared? All right, would you be prepared? There, people are saying 20,000 people would have to take this one highway. Highway 11 is the only way out. And people are saying... I don't know, I don't think 10,000 people will be able to evacuate once this happens, all right? 
And this has the potential to be a massive thing. This has the potential to be, a, be an eruption, all right? Hopefully it's just a lava flow, all right? Where it's just more of flows are coming. They're, they're more slow. They're still very dangerous, but hopefully citizens can get away. But we also could be dealing with an eruption where magma is, you know, profusely flowing out of the top, violently erupting out of the top. And that could cause way more problems for people. This could potentially take out highways, all right? And the lava flows could get to the highways and trap people there. What would you do? What would you do? This could this could happen anywhere. Events like this, tornadoes happen. I remember we were driving with our RV, all right? This was crazy through Oklahoma, all right? And this wasn't, this was a couple years ago now. And we, it was looking very stormy, very windy, all right? My RV's getting blown around. Thankfully, I have a, um, you know, weight distribution hitch to help with the sway and everything, sway hitch, all right? And all of a sudden, we start hearing this siren. And we're like, Does that, is that a tornado siren? I'm getting chills thinking about it because I can hear the siren noise in my head. And we start hearing the siren, this whirr. And we were driving through this like little tiny random city, little town, not even a city. It was a random little town, in the middle of nowhere. And we heard tornado sirens and we couldn't even see the tornado. We didn't know what to do. And we just, we just kept driving. I don't know. I was just like, if I see a tornado in front of me, then I guess I have to do something. But I don't even, it was one of those things. I was so unprepared for a, tor a tornado siren to go off. And I didn't even know where it was coming from. I couldn't see a tornado, but it definitely looked like a tornado situation. You know what I mean? It looked nasty, windy, and that's the perfect spot for a tornado, western Oklahoma, all right? Mid, you know, mid area, midwestern Oklahoma. Perfect area for a, tor for a tornado to happen, all right? So things could happen like this anytime, all right? Anytime, and tornadoes are very sudden too, all right? We always talk about, you know, shortages, food shortages, wars, things like that, but natural disasters are real too. I grew up in Florida, so hurricanes, we, I've been through a dozen hurricanes at least, you know? So hurricanes just kind of became a part of my psyche and being prepared for natural disasters like that, being prepared for the power to go out, being prepared for, you know, people to panic by and everything. I'm just like, I've been accustomed to this. This is what people do when there's emergencies. I've always just known that's what people do since I was a kid, you know, because I've dealt with a dozen, at least a dozen hurricanes. So get prepared, guys. This could happen anywhere. Residents are getting yellow advisories that are on their phones and they're being told by officials that be prepared to evacuate within a few hours notice. Once you get an orange alert, you will get an orange alert saying evacuate now. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you're in Hawaii. Give us an update. If you're on the big island here, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have blessings in your life and for your family. And thank you guys. You have a blessed day.